All right, Crash, thank you so much. And evacuees who made their way to Georgia, they're now thinking about the next step. Some already have plans to head back home to Florida, while others are waiting it out. They're waiting for emergency crews to assess the damage. 11 Lives Karis Belcher joining us live in Hampton, Georgia. And so, Karis, we know that a lot of power is out. People are still trying to figure out if it's safe to even return home what is left of their homes. What have people been telling you? Well, everyone I've spoken with has different plans. Some people I heard from say they're heading farther north to be with family who they can stay with. Others tell me they are planning to go back home to Florida today, but they're not exactly sure what exactly they'll be returning to. When I seen this one coming, I'm like, there's no way I can survive it. And I just got out. Michael and Gizmo were already milling about Thursday morning at Atlanta Motor Speedway as they waited for news of Hurricane Milton. I've already talked to a couple friends. The mobile home park I was in is completely wiped out, completely flooded, trees down, power lines down. The storm, which made landfall Wednesday evening, cut across the Florida panhandle, leaving Michael and his four-legged companion with no other choice but to join half a dozen others who camped out at AMS. This is my buddy. I, I had to protect him during the storm. From here, he says he plans to head north to visit family in Ohio. Further south in Jackson, Georgia, Carolyn Carr has other ideas. We're fighting out on out of money. <laughs> We've got to go home. It's just, it's, just, it's, it, it's been kind of a nightmare. She left Fernandina Beach on Tuesday looking for shelter. She and two of her neighbors landed here at First Baptist Church. People that stayed there told us we were crazy, but you've got to you've got to think about your life. Today, they prepared to return home, but she's unsure what she'll find when she gets there. But she says she'll be ready if nature forces her out of the panhandle again. I'll prepare for the next one if we have to and probably do the same thing. I probably won't come this far, though. Thank you all so much. And her story is one I've heard from quite a few people, all of them telling me they're just weighing how long they can actually afford to stay away from Florida before they head back home. In Hampton, Georgia, I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. All right, Karis, thank you. We want to get you back to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. And Chris, a lot of relief now that Milton has passed over Florida, but there's still issues that could come. Exactly right. We're going to be watching. I'm sure a lot of people who may be watching us right now who are evacuees wondering about going back. I hope you heed the advice, though, to check with the officials before you go back down there. But at least the weather is cooperating with the cleanup in Florida right now in the Florida Peninsula, not the panhandle here. The panhandle was not impacted by the storm at all. But you can see here that uh, the conditions are clearing up where we see uh, the rain that has moved away. The storm surge that caused a lot of the flooding uh, receded pretty quickly, but still there's a lot of damage, a lot of power lines down, a lot of roads that are blocked too. So check ahead before you go back down there. But at least the storm is moving away and it's getting out of here where we see that system continuing to push on out. A couple of rain showers lingering there along the eastern coastline and then a few clouds there along the Georgia Georgia coast too, but even the tropical storm force winds that we had on the Georgia coast, those have pulled away too. So things are looking uh, much better out there right now, and we just get to enjoy the really nice weather that we have here. And it's going to be a nice evening too. We're going to watch the temperatures fall from the mid 70s that we have right now to the lower 70s at 7. 60s from 9 to 11 and then 50s here for tomorrow morning and even some folks outside the city may even have some temperatures in the morning in the 40s and then there's yet another surge of colder air moving in next week that'll be even cooler than this one we'll talk about that coming up all right, Chris, thank you so much. Well, right now on 11 Alive Plus, our coverage of Milton's aftermath continues. There you'll find a first look at the damage from our sister station down in Tampa. Just search 11 Alive in the App Store on your streaming device and download 11 Alive Plus for up-to-the-minute coverage of Milton.